help our uh, our viewers think through this on one particular point, just explain a little bit more because the Reformed tradition believes in a doctrine called total depravity. Yes. And so sometimes when people say, with this position, well, they believe in the good of government, and yet they have this view called they have this view that sin is so pervasive. How, right. how does that actually line up? Right. And this idea of total depravity, I've I've heard it explained. And I think this is helpful. It's not just depth, but it's breadth. Everything is broken by sin. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's not just that we as humans are depraved and sinful, that we have a sinful nature, but that everything isn't as it should be. So we have death, we look around in nature and we see things, it's not that everything lives forever, but things begin to decay, things begin to fall apart. So there's that peace, but again, it's that redemption side too. So everything is broken, but everything can be redeemed. And in the new creation, everything will be made perfect again. So the idea is that we, maybe we're even kind of part of that new creation, not the full part of that new creation, but that government created by God as a good thing is broken and sinful just like all the people and everything else but even those broken and sinful people with God's grace are able to begin to sort of put the broken pieces back together if you will which is why redeemed people would need to be uh, players within right. this kind of uh, political world right and there are some in the reform tradition it's hard I mean with each of these I'm giving you sort of yeah. overviews of, of kind of a major stream Right. But there are some in the Reformed tradition who are going to emphasize in particular called common grace. The idea that it's not just there's this God's salvific grace given to his people, but then there's also God's grace given to all. Um, the, the Old Testament idea, the rain falls where I mean, it falls on the righteous and the unrighteous. So that God's grace can actually, God can work through through sinners as well as through the redeemed. Yeah, and that's, that's helpful when we turn now to weaknesses and strengths. Uh, sure. Can you... Can you uh, give us a possible, well, a strength and then a possible weakness. So I think one of the strengths of this tradition is this idea of the pervasiveness of, of, uh, of God's, God's work in creation. And, and there's a, I think there's an optimism to it that I think is encouraging. There's so much anger right now and distrust in government and the sense of nothing good can come up. This is a tradition that says, no, actually government can be a way to care for people and to meet people's needs and it can have positive ends. And I think we all need to be looking for the positive things that government can do. Recognizing, of course, yeah. that it also has some problems. I think a weakness of the tradition is it can, um, it may, maybe it overplays that hand too much. You know, there's a sense of what can we redeem. There's so much focus on trying to make things right. Um, what do we do with, with those things that are not going to be made right? And um, and maybe there are also places, sometimes a, there's a concern that there can be a little too triumphalist. Is this really a place for Christians to be involved or not? Yeah. Can you overplay that understanding of the role of where Christians should be involved and maybe where Christians should say, this really isn't the place for me?